The Society for Neuro-Oncology uh, in Sub-Saharan Africa, what we stand for essentially is to improve the outcomes of patients with brain tumors. Uh, we essentially do this through educational purposes. Uh, obviously, we also provide the right platform for research and collaboration amongst practitioners uh, who take care of brain tumor patients in Sub-Saharan Africa. So the conference essentially is to provide an avenue and platform for education on brain tumors and to give a room for everyone to interact and perhaps provide an avenue for collaborations between different uh, folks who take care of brain tumor patients. Kenya hosting the Society of Neuro-Oncology of Sub-Saharan Africa Conference it was the very first time it had come to East Africa. It is the biggest meeting of scientists and patient advocates and clinicians who deal with brain and spine tumors and also metastatic tumors, that is tumors spread from elsewhere into the brain and spine. This was a fantastic opportunity to showcase what we're capable of doing clinically and also it's moved the conversation from just information coming from outside the continent into the continent to us leading the agenda in our research priorities. The theme for this year's conference was optimizing outcomes for neuro-oncology in sub-Saharan Africa and we've had a fantastic meeting with a very high level of scientific content. For the very first time we were accepting abstracts and most of these abstracts, we had over 90 abstracts from African um, authors and this is a really significant thing for us, it's, it hadn't been done before and we had uh, out of that over 70 were selected for presentation as both oral and posters. Um, the advantage of also hosting this meeting is that it acts as a platform for us to demonstrate how much we have achieved in the sphere of taking care of the brain and spine uh, brain tumor, patient, uh, tumor patients and it also gives us an opportunity to collaborate from a research perspective and, and, and develop our uh, education and training um, platforms within the country. Patients generally will benefit from a conference like this because this is an avenue to empower uh, the people who take care of them. Uh, if I know a better way to deal and to treat a patient, then obviously that patient's outcome is likely to be better than it is or that it will be if I was not empowered with the right knowledge. And if I also have the opportunity to meet with other people, to share knowledge and perhaps to have an avenue where we all take a look at what is uh, the constraining factors and how we can overcome those factors in the care of our patients, then obviously it's a positive thing in terms of clinical care of our patients. After this conference, one of the strongest things that we want to get from this is trials in Kenya. At the moment, we've been doing small trials at single centers, often just based in clinical outcomes, but now we want to do the whole range. We want to do basic science research, we want to do clinical multi-center trials, and we want to do clinical trials. And that's why we were pitching to the rest of the world that Kenya is at a position where it is ready to perform this research and inform um, the scientific community. This is critical as very few studies have African patients and, and so being able to be represented will allow us to know for sure whether we have the same outcomes when we get these treatments.